interpreting the story of the place and purpose of human beings on the planet, reimagining the story of your part in the flourishing of the whole community of life on Earth, and reigniting your passion for the planet by retelling your original Earth love story. So you've had some input from me about how the new universe story confirms that we belong to the universe, about how our species, though currently problematic, to say the least, is not inherently a problem, but rather an expression of the universe itself with powers and potential for generative co-creativity. And you've had input from me about letting go of trying to change the world as it is, which is a Sisyphean task, and about taking up a better story of emergent design from an appreciative approach. This is a story of participating in the good and the true by doing more of what brings life to the systems that we love. And you've had input from me about the importance of staying connected to the love, about how, in the words of Che Guevara, the true revolutionary is guided by feelings of great love. These are feelings that demand our attention and cry out to be nurtured, like tending a constant fire or feeding the soil in which our activism can thrive. You've reflected on these themes of a bigger story, a better story, and your love story. And you've shared from these deep places with one another. So thank you. Thank you for being here and for being there where you are doing what you do within this world of great beauty and terrible brokenness. We belong here and we're in it together and this is good. I hope this experience helps you feel connected with others, willing to live a bigger story, a better story, and a love story. I hope it inspires you to enjoy the simple fact of being in order to re-energize your doing within the complex realities of our time. And I hope it equips you with new frameworks of understanding about your place and your presence and your participation in the great unfolding of life. If you'd like to maintain your connections to the community and the content from this course, please join the Go Deep Green Facebook group. During the course, I mentioned an idea from cultural historian Thomas Berry this idea of the Ecozoic Era, when human beings will learn to be present to the planet in a mutually beneficial manner. The community of the cosmic person has taken this idea and activated it into a framework for living your Earth love. So I encourage you to consider taking our course on learning the Ecozoic Living Framework that translates into each component, learning, learning to be present, learning to be present to the planet, and mutually beneficial manner. So it's taking each of those components and making them into a pathway of embodiment. The idea of the Ecozoic era, like living with it and working with it, trying to activate it in my own life, it's given me a deeply satisfying sense of coherence. What I feel and know on the inside now matches beautifully with what I do on the, in, on the outside. I don't mean perfectly, but I do mean beautifully. I'm living in ways that are energizing and life-giving for me, and that I feel um, allow me to make a genuine personal contribution to the wider world and the common good. I'm not fixing anything, but I am participating. What I've tried to do with the certificate course in Ecozoic Living is unpack these values and hand them over to you so you can build your own integrating framework. I'm convinced that the directions in which these values lead and the energy of bringing them together and living them out, that generates exactly what the world needs now. Thank you again for taking up the challenge to go deep green. And I do look forward to staying connected with you for the mutual support and encouragement that we need to dream by doing for a flourishing world. My name is Jana, and it's been a real pleasure to go deep green with you and to welcome you to the community of the cosmic person.